Hi there, and welcome to Godfrey Guitar Lessons. This is part of a series of lessons on scales. Those scales include major scales, chromatic, minor pentatonic, blues, and natural, harmonic, and melodic minor scales. In this lesson, you'll learn five ways to play a melodic minor scale. If you don't know how to read a scale chart, just check out my video on that topic, and you can download some free scale charts. Just check the link in the description below. Let's start with melodic minor scale form one. Here's melodic minor scale form one. Remember with these scale forms, we always start with the open circle. In this case, our open circle is right in the middle of everything, and we'll talk about that. So we start in this chart with our first finger on the second fret, fourth string. Again, we're playing left to right, so ignore that extra one on that string for now. We play one, three, four. String three, we play one, three. String two, we play one, three, four. And string one, we play one, two, four. Reverse that, play four, two, one. String two, four, three, one. String three, we play three, one. And here we go, we're on the fourth string now. We play four, three, one. And then we move down one fret to our left and play an extra one. So that's four, three, one, and another one. Back to our original position. On the fifth string, we play three, one. Sixth string, we play four, two, one. And then we reverse that. We will actually want to end where we started on that open circle. So on the sixth string now, we play one, two, four. Fifth string, we play one, three. And then fourth string, we play one, and then one. And that's where we stop. You could also play one, two, if you like, at the end. Here's what melodic minor scale form one sounds like all together. All the scales in this lesson are movable, so we could take that first finger, move it up to the G on the fifth fret of the fourth string, play everything else relative to wherever our first finger started. In classical music theory, you play the melodic minor on the way up, and then on the way down, you play natural minor. In jazz theory, you play melodic minor on the way up and on the way down. Since I am a jazz player, I'm just showing you the jazz way, but I do want you to be aware of that. And if you're interested in the theory behind all of this, you might want to check out my guitar theory modules. There's a link in the description below. If you want to name your starting note when you're moving these scales around, you've got to know the fretboard. I've got a couple videos on this topic. One just goes over the layout of the fretboard, and in the other we go over some memory exercises. I also have a free download for you called Learning the Guitar Fretboard. Check a link in the description below. Let's move on now to Melodic Minor Scale Form 2. Melodic Minor Scale Form 2 also starts in the middle of nowhere. This one starts us with our fourth finger on the fifth string. In this case, we're starting on the fifth fret making that a D, or a D melodic minor. Remember, we play these scales left to right when we start them, so even though there are other notes on that string, we're gonna save them for later. So we start with finger four, and then we immediately move to, to uh, string four and play one, two, four. String three, we play one, three. String two, watch out, we're gonna do one, and then we're going to slide our first finger over again and play another one. And then three, four. So again, that string is one, one, three, four. And then string one, we play one, three, four. But our four stretches up an extra fret. So that first string is one, three, four. Reversing that, we play four, three, one. 
string two, we play four, three, one, and then slide over for another one. String three, we play three, one. String four, we play four, two, one. String five, we play four, three, one. And then string six, we play four, two, one. Stretch down for the one. And just like scale form one, we're gonna work our way back to that open circle. So we on string six, we play one, two, four. And then one, three, four. Here's what that scale sounds like all together. Just like all the other scales, you want to move this one around the fretboard. So let's move our pinky up to a G on the fifth string. That's at the tenth fret. Now it's a G melodic minor scale. That was melodic minor scale form two. Let's move on to number three now. Melodic minor scale form three begins with our first finger on the sixth string. In this chart, we start on the second fret, making this an F sharp melodic minor. We play one, three, four. And then one, three. Now we move to our left one fret on the fourth string and play one, three, four. String three, we play one, two, four. String two, we play two, four. Now watch out here on the first string, we play one, slide up and play another one, and then three, four. So that first string again is one, one, three, four. Reverse that to play four, three, one, slide back down for the other one. Four, two on second string. Third string, we play four, two, one. Fourth string, we play four, three, one. Fifth string, we move one fret to our right and play three, one. And then sixth string, we play four, three, one. Here's what that scale sounds like all together. This one around the fretboard. Let's say if we wanted to play a B flat minor, excuse me, a B flat melodic minor scale, we would start on the sixth fret on the sixth string where the B flat is. Next up, melodic minor scale form four. Melodic minor scale form four begins with our first finger on the fifth string. In this scale chart, we're on the second fret, making this a B melodic minor. Starting on the fifth string, we play one, three, four. String four, we play one, three. String three, we move to our left one fret and play one, three, four. String two, we move back to our right and play one, two, four. And then on string one, we play one, three. And watch out here, we're gonna stretch out and play four, one fret higher than you might think. One, three, stretch out to play four. And then reversing, we play four, three, one. String two, we play four, two, one. String three, we move to our left one and play four, three, one. String four, we move back to our right and play three, one. 
then string five, we play four, three, one. Here's what that scale sounds like all together. Move this one around the fretboard. If I wanted to play an E minor pentatonic with this form, I would move my first finger up to the E on the fifth string, which is at the seventh fret. Last but not least, melodic minor scale form five. Melodic minor scale form five begins with our fourth finger on the sixth string. In this chart, we're starting our fourth finger on the fourth fret on the sixth string, which would make this a G sharp or an A flat melodic minor, depending on how you look at it. So we play four, immediately move to string five and play one, two, four. String four, we play one, three, four. Now this four on this string is going to be stretched out one fret uh, farther than you might think. So we go one, three, stretch out for four. String three, we play one, three, four. String two, we play two, four. And string one, we play one, three, four. Reverse that and play four, three, one. String two, we play four, two. String three, we play four, three, one. String four, remember we're stretching out a little farther for that uh, four. We play four, three, one. String five, we play four, two, one. And then we end on four on string six. Here's what that scale sounds like all together. And just like all the others, you want to move this one around to play, say, a, a B melodic minor. We'd move our pinky up to a B as a starting note. That's the seventh fret, sixth string. That was five ways to play a melodic minor scale. There are plenty of other scales in this series. Those scales include major scales, chromatic, minor pentatonic, blues, and natural, harmonic, and melodic minor scales. You can download charts for all those scales for free. Just check the link in the description below. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you got something out of it, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with more guitar tips.